it's Natalie. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys can see by the title, I am engaged. <laughs> I'm engaged, y'all. I'm like so happy. You guys have no idea. So I know you guys haven't like really met met Sam. I really wanted him to be in this video, but he had to go back to work, which is lame, but it's fine. I don't even know how to start this. Like, I cannot believe I am engaged. Like, what? I still think I'm like four. I've been wanting to do this video, but I've also been like nervous to do this video because I'm a very private person, I feel like. And I don't mention him a lot. He's not like really a part of my YouTube channel. I feel like keeping some stuff private, but this video I really, really wanted to do because it's like a lifetime achievement, I feel like. It's like a milestone that I wanted to look back on, so that's really why I'm doing it and to tell you guys, obviously. But yeah, he's not going to be in the video today, which is kind of sad, but it's fine. Um, I do have questions. I googled. I don't know how to film this video at all. I'm like super nervous, super like still shocked, basically. Um, he proposed to me on February 12th and I was completely shocked and could not believe it and I'll tell you guys like the whole entire story so the first question says how did he propose I'm gonna walk you guys through the day because that day to me was completely crazy and it made no sense but now like looking back at it it like all came together so that day we woke up we had plans to go to st augustine for lunch and i was really confused because my mom was here too she's here a lot and she didn't want to take the same car as us so like that's weird so I was like, why don't we just all drive together and save gas? Because she wasn't coming to lunch with us. She was going to go see my grandma. So I was like, hmm, that's really weird. And then, so we started getting dressed. And he was wearing these, like, khaki pants. And I'm like, hmm, he knows I like those pants. Like, what's a special occasion? And then he kept on asking me what I was wearing. Like, what I was going to wear. And I was like, I don't know. Like, I'm pregnant right now. Nothing fits me. I don't know. I have, like, no idea. So then he was like, why don't you wear this pink dress? Because pink's my favorite color. It was really weird because I didn't think, like I bought the dress for after I have the baby because like it's not a maternity dress. So I'm like, oh, I don't think it's like going to fit me at all, but like I'll try it and it did fit me, thank God. So I wore a pink dress and then he wanted to bring like my big Canon 80D camera and it's massive, like, I was like, why don't I just bring my vlog camera? Why am I even bringing a camera? And he was like, no, like, I think you should vlog today. Like, I think it'd be really fun and, like, a good memory. So I'm like, like, this isn't planned in my calendar to put a video of, like, our date, you know? So I was like, I don't really think a camera's necessary. Anyways, he brings the camera. We get in the car, and, like, everything seemed normal. He kept on getting texts. I'm like, hmm... This is weird, like, who's texting him this much? I didn't mean, like, another girl texting him. I thought it was his boss texting him, telling him that, like, he had to go back to work. And he works. His job is, like, all over the United States. So if he has to, like, go, he has to go, like, further away. It's not, like, down the street or anything. I was like, this is so weird. What's going on? We get to lunch, and he's, like, texting on his phone. Like, we're talking, obviously. And he's, like, texting on his phone because everyone's blowing him up. And then... Someone tries to call him and then he forwards it into voicemail. And in my mind, I'm like, what? Like, he's going to have to tell me. He's going to have to leave. It's going to ruin the day. We're going to have to cut the day short. But really, it was his sister calling him to congratulate him. But I didn't know that. So we finished up lunch. It was so good. And then I wanted Starbucks. So then we walked down like the hall to get Starbucks at like the place we were at. We got it and he was like looking out the window the whole entire time. Oh, and then my mom shut off her notifications, like her locations, and it like texted me that she turned off, she stopped sharing her locations with me. So I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> like, I am so confused. So he was like looking outside of the window of Starbucks the whole entire time because he saw my mom trying to park. And my mom was like, I don't know where to park, where are you doing it, blah, blah, blah. And if you've ever been to downtown St. Augustine, you know parking is such a headache. So we get our Starbucks and then we go, like go outside. And my mom, I guess, like either passes us or like pulls in to park somewhere. And then Sam's like, oh, like let's go back this way. 
which was the direction of the car. Oh great, we're cutting the day off short because he has to go to work and he has to leave and I'm gonna be in a mood and like great. So we start like walking towards like the car area and there's like this like fountain and it's like right by Flagler. I don't know if like anyone knows where this is but it's like right next to Flagler and there's like a fountain and um it's like all trees it's like so pretty he was like can we sit for a little bit and I'm like what why do you want to sit down like I want to walk and so I'm like yeah sure okay so we sit down and then he was like I have to tell you something um but you can't freak out and I'm like oh this is the part where he says he has to go. And I was like, freak out, why would I freak out? And then he like gets down on one knee and then he like pulls out the ring, like the little box. And I'm just like, what is going on? I'm so nervous, like what is going on? And he's like, I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. And then he's like telling me how much he loves me. And I'm just like, are you sure like that's all I kept on saying was are you sure are you sure and then like I obviously like I obviously wanted to say yes and I was like wait where like does my mom and my sister know my brain was going in so many different directions that I was like oh my gosh do they know like where are they and my mom was like hiding behind a tree like a bush and she was like recording the whole entire thing And I'm so happy she did that because she was also taking pictures and I like obviously said yeah and yeah we like took pictures afterwards and I was like this is crazy and it's so funny because my hands are so swollen from being pregnant that the ring was like not going on my finger and I was like no it's fitting I don't even know if I showed you guys like my wedding ring I don't know if anyone you know what I'm gonna post like a picture of my wedding ring right here it's exactly what I wanted and I'm obsessed with it. A couple months before he like did the whole engagement thing, um, we went to go try on rings like before I was even pregnant and to get the size. And yeah, that's how he knew my size. So that was how it all happened. Um, what's the next question? Was I surprised? Yes, but I also had like a feeling of something's going to happen, but I like did not know what the something was do you know where and when you want to get married so kind of we have like a time frame so since I am pregnant right now I'm like due literally any day now I want to take like one whole entire year to focus on the baby and just like kind of have like a baby year basically and then in 2024 I want to like get married and like actually do the whole entire wedding of my dreams kind of thing so I would like to get married in like springish like spring kind of summer but he wants to get married end of summer fall so i don't really know exactly when but we do know it's 2024 are you so excited to start planning yes i'm so beyond excited to start planning me and sam have kind of different views on like weddings and stuff i'm very like catholic and like believe i should get married in a church and you know do it very traditional and he's not catholic so I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we decided not to get, I don't I don't really know because everything's so up in the air right now that I just don't really know. He wants to do like a whole like barn vibe and I'm more like elegant and like, <laughs> I don't know, ballroom. I don't really know. But we did start looking at places. We haven't like been there, but we've been like online looking at places. So we'll probably tour a couple and then I'll film everything. That'll be like a whole new series to do, which I'm so excited to do. We do have like a joint Pinterest account. Not Pinterest account, but Pinterest board. And it has like all of our ideas. So we're kind of on the same page on some stuff. So that's always helpful. What are you going to wear? Obviously a white dress. I'm so excited to go dress shopping like 
but I also want to like take the year that I like have her the baby and just like get so fit and so like healthy again <laughs> because I've gained some weight from this pregnancy and I just like I don't really feel like myself so I want to like lose the baby weight start working out get back to normal and it's going to take some time I know that but and I'm excited for that to be even like a whole entire series like I have so many series coming up on YouTube that I'm so excited like my whole postpartum journey I want to do I want to do wedding shopping I want to do like what I'm thinking oh my god all of her milestones oh I'm so excited like this is going to be such a good year I just know it but back to the wedding dress I don't really know what kind of style I want it all just depends on how I look and how I feel in a dress because I feel like when you know you know and I just like want to know because like I have like a fantasized dream version of a dress but I just I don't know how to look on me so I want to like check everything out and keep my mind open who is going to be in your wedding party so i think we decided six six and six or seven and seven people like seven bridesmaids seven grooms don't quote me on that i would have to count one more time but yeah that's what i'm like thinking in my head he basically said however many girls you have like i'll just match it am i going to have baby girl in the wedding yes obviously i want her to be like either like the flower girl or like i love when babies and kids are in weddings like that's one of my big things i definitely want to have like lots of kids in my wedding and i'm so lucky because sam has so many nieces and nephews and they're all so cute so they're gonna be like all in my wedding i'm hoping <laughs> So yeah, she's definitely going to be in the wedding as well. Where are you going on your honeymoon? We kind of like discussed it. I want like tropical beach, like Bahamas or Bora Bora or like somewhere tropical. And he wants to do like hiking and forest climbing and I don't really know. He like likes woods and stuff. So he definitely wants something completely different from me. So I think... I don't know what we're gonna do like I have no idea but I'm excited to like kind of find out and try wedding cakes and look at bridesmaid dresses and stuff so and I'm excited to share it all with you guys anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on all my social media and check out all my other videos on pregnancy and how that's all going I'm so obsessed with all those videos and I love watching them and I feel like they're a good like little memory holder so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys bye.